Let's balance this equation, AlF3 plus O2. That's aluminum trifluoride plus oxygen gas. We'll also look at the type of reaction. So the type of reaction here, so it looks like what's happening is the oxygen is now with the aluminum here and the aluminum oxide and the fluorine, that's all by itself over here. So I'd call this a single replacement, single displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. You could call it redox. Looks like the oxygen and the fluorine, they've changed their oxidation states. Let's balance the equation. First, we need to count the atoms up. Probably best to start with the aluminum here because we could put a two as our coefficient, one times two. That would balance the aluminum atoms three times two. That would give us six fluorines. Fluorines, we can change the coefficient here and that won't change the number of aluminums or oxygens. So we could just put a three right here, two times three, that gives us six, that's balanced. But now we have a bit of a problem with the oxygen here. We have three here and two here. What we could do is say two times some number, that would equal three. Two times three over two, because the twos would cancel out, that would give us three. So we could just put three over two here. And this is the correct balanced equation for ALF three plus O2. This ratio, these ratios of coefficients, that's correct. Some teachers want you to have whole numbers. They don't like the fraction, but you could just multiply everything by two like this, and that would give you, and these coefficients are correct as well. They're just whole numbers. So that's how you balance the equation ALF3 plus O2. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.